There is a way that exploiters can make a fake purchase on your dev products and game passes. They use an internal function used by core scripts called signal prompt product purchase where they can call to the server that you failed to buy a product or you actually bought a product. I'd also like to mention that this vulnerability also affects prompt purchase finished and also prompt game pass purchase finished. But we can get into in a little bit how we can actually fix that one. So as you can see in the video, this guy is using a third party software. He's using Discord to send something to his game. It's his friend's game, I'm pretty sure. And he is able to buy, basically buy this dev product, but he's not actually buying it. He's exploiting it so it actually works without him having to spend a penny. So the vulnerability lies in the function marketplace service dot prompt product purchase finished. You do not want to be using this at all. It is basically the deprecated function of what I am about to show you guys. So how we can actually fix the dev product vulnerability is by using marketplace service dot process receipt. And before I get into this, I'd like to mention that every dev product that you handle in your game should be used by this uh, callback only. So you should only use it once in one script and handle all your dev products here. With that out of the way, process receipt gives us receipt info, which gives us the product ID, player ID, and stuff like that. So when using process receipt, Receipt, sorry, I butchered that. We need our product ID, and I'm just gonna leave it at zero for a placeholder, but we're gonna need our product ID, or you could also define it down here. So we would need to say if receipt info dot product ID is equal to our product ID that we previously defined. And just a little bit more protection, we can get the player from this by saying player game dot players get player by user id and in receipt info we can get the player id just like this so we have our player and we can add an extra layer of protection by saying this and player so we're actually checking that our player exists so if all this passes through the product id matches and we actually have our player then we can do some feedback to our player and we can also reward them so, you know, you could send a remote to the client for some visual effects. You can reward them with currency or something like that. And they, the Roblox assistant already has this last line for us, which is we need to return the product purchase decision, which means that we have granted the purchase to the player. So if one of these things failed, we would say else and we would return. Roblox is going to give it to us the purchase decision and say not processed yet which means that we actually didn't grant the purchase it didn't go through for a certain reason so this is how we handle dev products in our game but we still have to worry about game passes so as i mentioned earlier this vulnerability also affects the way you handle game passes which is prompt game pass purchase finished now this by itself is a vulnerability, but using it in your game, prompt game pass purchase finished function, we can actually fix this because the function gives us three parameters, which is the player, the game pass ID, and also was purchased. Or I'm sorry about this guys, we actually have to say connect function and not I equal it to a function so just let me fix this real quick so now we can see up there our player our game pass id and was purchased so not using these three parameters is actually a vulnerability so how we can use them so it isn't is we can check if game pass id is equal to your game pass id you could define it here or you could already have a pre-existing a variable for it which i guess i'll just do for the sake of the example, so we could say like uh, ID is equal to whatever. And we can toss our ID in here. So we check if it's the same uh, game pass. And we can also check if it was purchased. So think of was purchased if we actually went through with the transaction. 
to help this maybe make a little bit more sense, I'm going to say it feels equal to true. So it helps you guys understand this a little bit more. And so just like with the dev products, we could then uh, grant them the reward, send some feedback, and maybe print something or, you know, what else? Oh, Robl <laughs> Roblox is being nice by saying printing thanks for purchasing. Because, you know, you're also giving Roblox money, by the way. <clears throat> 30%. But anyways, this is how you can fix the Game Pass vulnerability. So referring back to the original dev form post where I found this, there is actually some code from the Roblox client tracker with these internal functions. I'm not 100% sure why he provided this code piece, but it's still here and you guys can look at it. You can see signal prompt product purchase or finished. Also signal prompt purchase finished there used in the code but you know it seems like this is used in a core script as i mentioned earlier and he goes on to give us some function names that can be or are vulnerable and so these actually we can't use so if we get rid of the signal in the name and just uh, have what it says so for example it says signal number eight signal prompt purchase finished uh, that's meaning that Prompt purchase finished uh, right here is also a vulnerability and all of these other ones are deprecated. And also another interesting thing is on this site where people can send in reports of things the Roblox team needs to fix or some critical issues. It, there's a thing here that on the dev form post says Roblox it does know about the vulnerability but not sure what they are going to do with it. So as you can see here, there is a report of this issue, but I guess uh, Roblox hasn't changed anything or they're not sure what to do. I'm not 100%, but I'm just showing you guys extra information from this dev forum post that may be interesting to you guys. I'm not going to cover everything in the dev forum post, but uh, here is the dev forum post up here on screen, and it's mostly everything i've covered in this video is some extra code pieces and if you want to watch the full video it is also at the end of the post so go check it out uh here it's a very interesting post so i thought i would shine some light onto it and yeah guys this was today's video if you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button and the subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next video peace